Uh, hello everybody, welcome to a new game. This is, actually, I forgot what to call it. Uh, World of Peace Simulator 2. Now, this is a game that I recently found, and, um, yeah, so let's uh, get into it. Now, I know that it's been a while since my last upload, but, um, I will start to improve that, uh, shortly. Um... And I also kind of want to go over the summer schedule because it's getting ready to be about that time. So during the summer, uh, don't be expecting too much. I'll do a couple of little check-ins and stuff like that. But other than that, um, don't expect a whole lot from me. Uh, I mean, I might be, I might do just a few simple, quick videos to just basically prove that I'm not dead. But yeah, so this is the game. You know, you got all of your country stats over here. You get the same effect whenever you tap on the built in your actual country. Then you also got the other stuff for the other countries. That's all their information. And then the red countries are the ones that are currently being attacked. And then all the uh, and then where you see the lines is where they're being attacked from. And I am attacking Russia. And Libya, sometimes the game just kind of likes to make its own decisions, Decisions, but this right here, oh gosh, I just added the politics. Now you can do propaganda, you can reinforce your armies, you can have other diplomacy and stuff over here. Um, then you have the relations tab, which basically shows you all of the relations that you have with other countries, all the wars that you're currently in. Like, if I scroll down far enough, no, I guess I'm not at war with these guys anymore. Well, yes, I, sh I should be. I don't know. Maybe that's, like, help and stuff like that. I'm not sure. I, I just got this game. But then these are your points that you get so that you can go into the politics. And then you see here, up here, it has a certain amount of points. And then you can spend those points on a lot of these things. This you can speed it up. This you can speed it down. I prefer to go on fast. And I'm going to put my first thing in, which is this child bonus, which will um, basically you will pay your citizens for every baby they have, and that will help to increase your population, which is always good. Now, do I do propaganda, or do I go straight for military? Uh, maybe I go for welfare, which will make my people happier. Mm, decrease our... Actually, what is our... Stability. It is currently on the rise. So I don't really have to worry about that, um, but I will begin to kind of invest in our military. Uh, next thing I'm going to save up for is development. Um, so I'm just going to let the game run through here for a second and talk about everything else. So I think that I have a new schedule for regular uploads during the weekdays. Um... This isn't set in stone, but I'm basically going to upload a video on Monday, a video on on Wednesday, and one on Friday. That's going to be my uh, usual time. And then, uh, during the summer, I'll probably do a video uh, for each month that I will be away. Because I'm not usually at home during the summer months, so that'll be different. Um, let's see what we can do. Almost. Development is very important. Let's see here. You can see that our military force is growing. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Um, and we have a lot of terror which means that all the other countries are afraid to declare war on us, which is good, because uh, they, they are a lot less likely to declare wars on us, obviously. You know, we got regular stuff up here, population, happiness, which is actually on a decline. Um, 
I think propaganda will combat that really, really nicely. Uh, no, 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 it's still on the rock, like, way down. Uh, crap. Um, I might be screwed here. Uh, I'm not gaining points fast enough to do a welfare program. That's the only thing I can do at this point to save myself. I mean, I could do a police force. Uh, or, well, I'm almost there to welfare. Um, I'm going to do the welfare program first, and then I'm going to, as a last resort, I might have to do the police force. And, you. Crap, my stability and happiness is both going down at a pretty fast rate. Wait, it looks like happiness is kind of starting to... There we go. Alright, stability is starting to go back on the rise. Alright. And we are currently attacking two countries. Now, is there anyone that we can actually go and declare a war on? That'll be of use attacking, and we just started to attack Mexico. Actually, no. I'm going to spend money on rearmoring the military, so that way I can actually handle all these attacks. Why is it not pulling up the My Country tab? I want to check what our... Oh, wait. No. Cancel that. There we go. Yeah, see, we got a very strong military. And we're about to make an even stronger one because I'm getting ready to rearmor it. And this faster. And faster. And armor. Arm all of our military. That, that situation with the happiness levels was almost... Wait a minute. I just see them on the decline again. Okay, good. I, I thought I did. Wait, no. I actually do. Uh, propaganda. Propaganda? No. I can't do propaganda yet. Come on. Please don't go into civil war. That'll be so bad. By the way, that's what all these pur purple countries, if you see those... Those are all countries that are currently in civil war. Like here. During this time, I don't think that they can be attacked by anyone, but they are getting pretty torn up pretty bad. Because you can see that their stability and their happiness is actually really low, even though it is actually starting to go back on the rise. The same with their wealth. Yeah, uh, their infrastructure is doing all right. Actually, how's ours doing? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. I, I could do better with wealth. What can I do to help that out? Let's see. Sports event? Get money off of that. Yeah, that's how it's done. Stability is back on the rise. It was falling there for a little bit. Now, the sports event helps with the wealth and the stability. Only it's a temporary help. Um, bu 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 bu. Propaganda. We have to do. A little bit of propaganda. That's okay. Our force is diminishing in the military. We're being attacked by Turkey. And infrastructure is um, pretty good. Wealth, I've seen it be better. Actually, we're really poor right now, and um, our stability is on an all-time low. 
and our happiness is at pretty much zero, but it's back on the rise again. Let's do another sporting event. A peace festival. Now, who are we currently at war with? Uh, we are being currently attacked by Cuba. Actually, hold on. This will be a better way of doing it in my country. And then going into relations. So I'm at war with Algeria, Bolivia, Brazil, Canada, Central Africa, China, Colombia, Cuba, France, Germany, Iran, Kazakhstan, Mexico, Peru, Poland, Russia, Spain, Sweden, Turkey, Ukraine. How does that make any sense? I'm at war with myself. Huh. Who's this here at the top, say? This might not be us. No, yeah, this is for us. Weird. Try that again. Algeria, Bolivia, Brazil, Canada, Central Africa, China, Cuba, France, Germany, Iran, yeah, 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 Kazakhstan, Mexico, Peru, Poland, Russia, Spain, Sweden, Turkey, Ukraine, still USA, Venezuela, West Africa. That's what I was trying to do earlier. Basically, just lift off, list off all of the countries that we are were at war with. Now, uh, child bonus. Uh, you know, I could blackmail someone and get everybody in the world to hate them. How about our lovely, very, very friendly friends to the north? Alright, we have claimed that Canada is making weapons of mass destruction, but I'm actually going to have to end this episode off right here. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will talk to you dudes in the next one.